Hey bud, come on. And go for a ride? <laughs> yeah, good boy. Before we sell the Porsche, we've got a few things to do to it. I'm not really sure why, but the factory amplifier like either blew or I, I, something happened to it to where I can't listen to the radio in the car. That's going to be either addressed or fixed today. My friend Johnny, who helped me out on the wiring on my 1JZ Lexus, is going to be helping me today, so a huge shout out and thanks to him. Clutch, wine. guys I want to give a massive thank you and a huge shout out to my friend Johnny again that card that I just showed you is uh, the business that he's gonna be opening in May he's gonna be doing audio tent and everything like that in the Dallas area so make sure you guys give him some love check out his Instagram and his pages and stuff like that today we uh, we had to fix the Porsche it's obviously for sale but I wasn't gonna sell it before we fixed all this stuff for some reason the amp was blown like I didn't have radio for the longest time the amp was blown so I had to replace a fuse. We thought that we had to pull it out and replace the amp, so that's what we were checking today, but it had power and everything like that, so we figured out it was just a fuse. Thank God, because Bose amps are expensive. Not only that, it's pretty known that uh, for some reason my car keeps throwing a weird check engine light. We did address that issue and it's completely fixed now. Also, can somebody kick UPS in the rumpus for me? Because they picked these tires up. They took all four tires and then they only dropped off they only dropped off half of the tires to tire rack, and then they brought these back to me. I'm gonna slap your mom's a hoe. I'm just kidding. Your mom's not a hoe. I'm sure she's a really nice lady. Just don't leave my, don't leave these here again, please. I really want to go over everything that I've done to this car, just to kind of reminisce. I think one of my favorite things about this car is the Cayman R lip kit that I did. It's like, it's probably one of the most subtle things you can do to this car. And it's not like a ricey thing, it just looks, it looks so, so cool. I remember the vlog where I uh, had to modify these and repaint them, actually paint them the correct color and everything like that. And I put the 5.3 supply banner on there, that's a good mod. On uh, the fronts and the rears, I ended up doing extended uh, lug bolts, I think that's what they're called now. Back, 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 yeah! And then I ended up doing a uh, carbon fiber insert from a GT3 RS right here where the cup holders are and that's kind of nice. And my personal favorite part about the car, I already know what's going on, I need to clean these up so bad. We've got, uh, you can barely see them, but we've got headers there from Soul Performance and then we've got an Army Tricks axle back, which is Valvetronics, which I had to install that little valve you see right there. And last but not least, we got to be low. This car lowered looks so much better and um, I'm hoping the next owner can appreciate that. 
it looks good. What's crazy, and just just think of it as a statistic, not as like bragging. I don't I don't care. All of that added up to like eight thousand dollars in worth of parts for that short of mod list. This car has wheels, tires, straight pipe exhaust, pretty much more than I did to this car for like two, maybe? I would say two. That's, that, that is why I wanted another Japanese car. I can make this car 600 horsepower for what it costs for me to make this car loud. That's, that is why I decided to get something like this. Today I actually want to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go back home first to our place because I like our place, but I haven't done a Q&A session in a while. How was that ride, bud? How'd you, did you like that? Come here. Good boy. Yo, this is MTV. Woke in my crib. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a Q&A video, and I, uh, I, I really miss it. I know it's enjoyable for you guys to interact with me, and today I chose to do it on Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, it's where I vocalize myself and complain a lot. I'm just kidding, I don't complain on it. I post a lot of like, honestly, it's where I, show what I do to my cars before on before I post it on YouTube. Yeah, so if you want to get an early head start on you know what I'm doing next, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I don't use Snapchat anymore because Snapchat sucks. I posted it on Twitter, I posted a nice picture of my car. Look at this beautiful picture of my car. Isn't it so pretty? How did I manage to get a guy like you from Victoria Shanks? Well, let me tell you what. You know, it's just in the genetics, I think. I think it's just, uh, it's just talent. Horsepower goal for the Evo. I think I've talked about this a little bit, Clutch, can you don't squeak, please? I think my horsepower goal is for the... It's kind of infinite. We'll see how it goes with this first first uh, round of build. This first time after I do this build, here in a few weeks, I should be making about 450 on low boost tune. My ultimate goal is about 600, because that's a good horsepower range before everything starts breaking. I've always wanted to have a, you know, a thousand horsepower car, but the problem with that is you start breaking CV shafts. You start twisting your drive shaft, like you start breaking things that really should not break on a normal car, ever. I think 600, 650 is probably comfortable. Where did your love for Japanese cars start? I really don't know. I, I would attribute it primarily to Need for Speed. Need for Speed and then Fast and Furious, of course, I think is a big inspiration for all of us, but growing up with video games where you could customize your own car and and personalize your own stuff, that in Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, game changers, boy. Jonathan asks, what do you think about most throughout the day? This is more of a deep philosophical question. Cars, family, your company are all about equal. I would say pretty equal. My mind is always running, obviously. I don't I don't expect anybody to understand how my mind goes, and I don't expect anybody to understand what it's like to to own multiple companies, but honestly, sadly enough, I think I think about business more than anything. You know, what's my next venture? What's my next step? How I can keep moving instead of just being stagnant? I obviously try and I give my wife the most attention I can because without family, you have nothing. It's it's a pretty equal distribution. Where do you normally drop on Fortnite? I always drop Anarchy Acres. There's just so much good loot there and it's open. Like you can build, you can, you can build a freaking city there. Do you have any advice for upcoming drifters. Honestly, I'm an up and coming drifter. I would say just practice. Like, I need practice. I'm not going to consider myself a professional by any means. I would just say have fun with the sport. Have fun with the sport, Shelby. Does your mom know you're gay? Do you love your STI more or the Evo? That's a hard question to answer because I would say that my love for my STI was greater at one point in time than the love for my Evo. But I've started to build so many cars. It's so it's it's gonna be hard for me to ever love a car like I did my STI whenever I got it. Cause I was young, it was my first, it was like it was a dream car for me. So like it it's gonna be hard for me to love a car like that again. Why did you choose the Evo over another STI? Was it just personal preference or just easier to do stuff with? That's a great question. And I've actually seen some people ask, why did you get an Evo X? And I want to spend most time on this question because I've actually wanted to make a video about this lately. Where's my monster? Hold up, I need a monster for this. Why I got an Evo X. First, I'll answer the question of why I got it over the STI. Building an STI before kind of scarred me. And honestly, it's it, for a while it steered me away from ever doing a four-cylinder turbo build again. But I've come to my senses and realized that four-cylinder turbos are amazing content. From a business standpoint, amazing content. Endless things you, you it's endless things I could do to the Evo. Over the STI, I've been scarred, honestly. I've gone through technically one and a half motors on an STI. 
on essentially stock power with a pretty good tune. And I did track the car. I drove the car really hard, but even still, like, I vowed to never buy an STI again. And unless they change the EJ motor, I probably will never buy an STI again. I love the STI, I love Subarus, and I honestly, because of the way that they look, I almost bought a Hawkeye or a blob eye just, just to have, but I just don't wanna to have to deal with that motor again. It's not that it's that difficult to work on, but comparatively speaking, compared to the Evo, it's the Evo's easier to work on. Um, I think they look just as good. I love the Evos, like I always wanted one. Now, here's to answer a lot of your question, why I bought an Evo X versus an eight or a nine. I mean, just not, not only why I bought the four cylinder turbo, but why I decided to go for an Evo X, Evo 10, instead of an eight or nine. I don't know why I keep on saying X, whatever, X, 10, whatever you want to say. Evo 8s and Evo 9s, Evo 7s, they're very cool. Like I grew up in playing Need for Speed where those were the cars to modify. And uh, I, I can agree that a lot of people my age and younger like the 8s and 9s just because they're a little, I feel like because of the way they were portrayed in the early 2000s, they are a more iconic car. Obviously the Evo 10 came after all the Need for Speed era so it's not that it's less sought after, and it's not that it's any worse, it's just they made the Evo 10 after the Japanese market came to the US. So it's really considered like a US spec Japanese car. I've always loved them, and I remember specifically, I was driving to school one day in high school, I was in my, I had my TC at the time. No, no, I had my XB, this was way back in the day. And I saw an Evo 10 for the first time, this was right after they came out. I saw a modified Evo 10 that was like lime green with like dual rice pipes coming out the rear, which this was back when I loved rice pipes, thought they were so sick. I was like, damn, that is the coolest car ever. And I looked it up and I figured out what it was and it was an Evo. I was like, damn, I didn't realize Evos had changed that much. So I, uh, I loved the car, I still love the car and I decided I had to buy one someday and I figured why not now? Now, why not more than ever uh, invest in building something I've always wanted to build? Just make a really clean, really fast, really cool Evo. A lot of people hate that it has the 4B11T versus the 4G63. Neither motor honestly is that great. You can build either one of them to have as much power as you want and both of them are still gonna break. I personally, I think the Evo 10 is, uh, I, I like the newer edge Japanese culture styling on the car. I think that the, uh, they, they nailed it and I think it's a beautiful car and I, I've always thought that they stand out. They're really, really cool. There is a lot of Evo versus STI questions on here. This is ridiculous. Do you plan to paint the Evo? Yes. I'm not going to paint the Evo. I'm actually going to go back to get dipped and we're going to do a color, a new color, I believe April 10th. When are you making a baby? Lil Bradley Vert says, will you say hi to me? No, Bradley, I will say hello, but not hi. What are the next big plans for the Lexus? Honestly, I'm content where it's at for now. I have a lot of tiny things to do, a lot of little mods here and there, but uh, definitely more time in the seat, in the driver's seat. After that, I need a new transmission and I need power. Want power. If you had to get rid of one car, which would it be? Oh my God, Eva, SC Eva or SRT? I would say the Porsche. <laughs> I would have to say the SRT because it's such an easily replaceable car. The Evo, I'm just getting started and I don't think I can ever sell the SC. It's just too dear to me. AWC Maverick says, did you ever see yourself owning so many cars and running your own businesses? No, I didn't. Whenever I went to college, I made an STI vlog whenever I went to college. And my goal for myself was to graduate college and get a normal job and work my way up. Now, I don't wanna say I never believed in myself. I never thought that I'd be where, I never would have guessed I, I, I would be where I am today. Not that I'm some icon. No, I never thought that I would be able to do what I do, own as many cars as I do, spend the money to build the cars how I want them to be and still be able to provide for a family. Like that, that is goals for me. I don't know, it's no, I have to, I have to say no, I did not think I would be in this position, but I'm glad that I am. I'm gonna do one more good question. There's, there's like, oh, well over a hundred questions here, but I wanna do one good one. If I order a dad hat, can you do a burnout on it with your Lexus and then you and Victoria Shanks sign it? What a legendary idea, Kevin. You know, I can't say no to that. What a guy. Thank you guys for your questions. Again, follow me on my social medias to uh, stay updated with what's going on and to get honestly more content than just what I provide to you on YouTube. Sitting down and reading these questions, some of these reflecting on like my older life, it's amazing to see it's amazing to see what hard work really does. And I, I have to I have to admit, I it is it is by God's grace that I am where I am. 
but you know, I believe that he honors hard work, and I and I honestly, I think that I'm a good living example that, uh, you know, just because you work hard doesn't mean you're gonna be rich beyond your wildest dreams, but it's gonna work out. And I think that that's important to kind of, uh, to take into consideration. If there's anything I have to tell you guys today is, the things that you desire, the things that you want, they're never gonna make you happy, but if you work hard enough, you're, you're gonna end up achieving them someday. Just just give it your best. Do your absolute best, and nothing, nothing short of that. One way or another, it pays off. It's awesome. Thank you guys for being here, and for being a part of the channel. Uh, if you guys don't already, make sure you subscribe. I make videos uh, every day, Monday through Friday. At least I do my best. All Thank you all of you for your amazing, incredible support. I love you all so much. Peace out all. You already know what's going on. You <laughs> be victorious. <laughs> but you need to tell them to watch one of those two videos, right? They already know. Watch one of them two videos that are right in front of your face. Do not click out of this. Stop it. Don't click out. You watch one of those two videos right in front of you, okay? Please. I love you. Just watch. I promise you they're good.